Hi Ashley and welcome to GRA 220. This is going to be some feedback on 1-3 which is the uh, photo manipulation exercise. And if you have any questions or need any kind of help, you know, don't hesitate to text me or email me. Welcome. I don't know if this interests you, but uh, anyway, this is what your submission looks like to me on my end. And I'm just downloading it now. Um, I see that it's about 98 megabytes. I would expect it to be about that size uh, for two large uh, print appropriate resolution um, images. And um, you know, just know that with increased size, of course, uh, it takes more time to download. Uh, a service bureau, if you were doing this, uh, probably would have a faster connection than I do. Okay, so I see you have it in a single folder, um, the elements of your um, submission here. While these come in, I am going to open up your PDF, which should have uh, the side-by-side -side comparison of the before and after. And yes, indeed, here it is. Can you zoom out so we can see them? Oops, not that much, maybe. Uh, so I'm assuming that that is the before. This is that correct? Wow, it's quite dramatic. Before, after, I'm assuming. Also another nice dramatic change, too. This becomes much more banded uh, than this one is. Hmm. Interesting, too. They're, and they're unique. Uh, they're not what I would expect. Um, you know, they're not they're not typical. The color cast of this one, very sh sort of coral shell like, uh, and then this one that you've changed to uh, almost an abstract underwater image. Interesting. All right, let me. Uh, Ashley, this I mean, you've come close to to meeting the objective, but um, what you've done though is I think you've saved the original twice, once unhampered with, and then the next time with some filters on it. Let me show you a way that uh, you can do it without having to have include the image in all of its resolution. Um, but first, let me look and see what size this is. I'm going up off screen, up under image, image size, and I see that it's, it's ample. It's quite it's quite big. The desired resolution you've uh, reached it's 10 by 15, so you can use it you know full size. Remember the ad is vertically oriented though, so the probably the widest this, this could get uh, would be eight and a half inches. Now, about adjustment layers. Um, I'm, here's the original, I'm, I'm presuming. I'm going under layer and then a new adjustment layer. I'm going to try, um, uh, let me try exposure for this one. See if I can get, and it automatically labels it something. Here's the exposure dialog box. Um, let me try to get something like what you had. Yours was a little bit more contrast here. I don't know. Nope. Well, there we go. This isn't anything like yours, but I'm just I'm saying that with a, with a number of these adjustment layers, you could get it to be uh, where you want it. All right, so that's you know a quick job. Um, now here's the beauty of that is that I can turn this on or off. I haven't doubled up on the image so you know it's a, still a small file um, and I can just turn this on or off just like a filter so there's your adjustment here's mine I mean it's, you know you could get you could get the same effect I guess that's what I'm saying all right I'm gonna leave it here Ashley uh, look forward to seeing how you put this and compose this as part of an ad